my needle shed. It's a nice little storage room. Dad's put the shed up for me. Thanks, Dad. I'm just going to hope that there's no spiders in here. First time using the wellies this year. Well, not this winter. Guys, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold on, car. I'm literally struggling to get to the stables. I've already had to turn off one road because the puddle was just that big. I was like, I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> so I've come a little shortcut and still found gigantic puddles. What is this weather? Are you ready? I'm so sorry I've not filmed any of that. It's been absolutely throwing it down. He did not like the rain. He wouldn't even go forwards. He was just like a tight curled up little ball. Um, but yeah, I got him moving forward and I've rode through the test twice. Um, it wasn't horrendous, wasn't great. Um, the hardest, Look, where's my phone? Yeah, so you, you do a 20 meter circle in canter and then you finish that at C and then you canter all the way down the long side to F and then between F and A you have to do transition to working trot and then you straight up the centre line that's difficult that was the hardest bit so yeah a little bit more practice on that but I'm going to have another go tomorrow when the weather's a bit nicer apparently it's supposed to be better than today so there was no point in trying to get my pivo to work and track me in this it had just blown down so yeah i'll do better for you tomorrow let's try again shall we it is saturday and i'm just making up some food so he's, dead, he's really picky with his food and the lady at denji did say that this is really um, palatable for them because it's got mint Fingerik and pellets in it but he doesn't seem a big fan of it so I've got some mash the Allen and Page soothing gain to go because he has that in his normal feed anyway and I only bought this um, for him to eat just before I exercise him so I've bought a bit of that to mix in and hopefully he'll eat it I'm going to try and set my pivo pot up today and actually have a run through the test. It's not raining, it's not that windy, so let's go. This is gonna be interesting. His head collar's missing. <laughs> and can I be bothered to walk back up and get it? No, I can't. We have success. Nice. And he's from the pill already, of course.
No. No, don't get it on me. No. Can I steam the camera up? Right, today's the day we're recording our e-riders dressage test. I don't think any more amount of practice is going to, unfortunately, make our test any better. So, we're just going to do it. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll give me something to work on next month and hopefully get a better score than this month. So, I'm going to get him ready and tacked up have a little run through of the test and then fingers crossed I can find somebody at the yard to record it for me. So we're doing the BD Prelim 2, which is a 2016 test. Okay, we're all ready. I've had to take his breastplate and his martingale off because they are not allowed in BD and we also can't have any boots on so are we going to be a giraffe nightly or are we going to go nicely just going to have a little practice and then wait for someone to come and film us if they can come on and your little record uh, zoom in zoom out sorry yep. on the front there's a little tab that thing this thing there oh that yeah. one that zooms yeah. in and out it's ah. quite a slow zoom in and out, so. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is Samantha Botton, and this is Nightly, Mercy and Knight. Um, we are riding the Prelim 2 2016 BD test in the ROR League. Right, come on then.
Do you like some carrots for being a good boy? Yummy. So we are all finished, we have done our dressage test, oh, where are you going? <laughs> this is I just want you to get my best side one, um, yeah, done our dressage test, it had a few mistakes in it but I knew it was going to, um, my, because it's an online dressage test, you kind of get into your head that if it's not perfect, I'll just record it again. But I would have had to have done it about 50 times. So I just, I've been practicing it. Um, not loads, just here and there. Well, what you've seen basically is what I've done. Um, and I just thought if I was doing a normal um, dressage test, you only get one shot. So just do it once get someone to film it and then yeah it is what it is kind of thing but i was pleased he went really dead to the leg actually when we started filming i think because i had to take him back up to the ramp like the bottom of the barn to find somebody to film i think he thought that, that was his kind of session over so then when we went when we went back to the bottom of the arena he was a little bit yeah behind the leg but I'm pleased it's our first one I'm excited to get it entered and see what their comments are please stay there yeah that'll do we've got a nice little frilly so I entered him in the ROR league I've got a nice so we came ninth <clears throat> we won't talk about the fact there was only nine in the class but I'm actually quite pleased. It, I knew it wasn't going to be a perfect test or anywhere near perfect but I just wanted to get one done, get a score to work with and then I have already entered one for November this month um, and we'll try and get a better score. So let's just jump straight into the score. I'm going to start with saying we scored 61.5 however total penalty marks to deduct we got four points deducted four points so technically we got 65.5 which in eventing scores would be 64.5 yeah that's right so i don't think that's that bad personally for our first ever dressage test um the scores, oh hang on, let me tell you why we got four points deducted. So we had four points deducted for uh, use of voice. So in the change of rain in medium walk, he went to jog into trot and I went, no. And yeah, I've got two points deducted for that. And the other two points I got deducted were for... When I did the intro to the test, and I have to say my name, his name, what tests we're doing, I didn't um, say what month test we were doing. So I was supposed to say for the October 2023 entry. And I didn't. So that was another two points deducted. Uh, but overall, I am pleased. We got 6.5. Majority of the scores were 6.5s. We got 1.7. And that was for working trot tracking left at C when we have to change the no yeah KXC working trot track left at C yeah um oh excuse me we got yeah a five for change the rain and medium walk um we got our six. We got a six for our free walk. Um, that wasn't very good at all. I know that wasn't very good. He normally stretches down quite nicely after I've finished working him. 
but yeah he didn't want to do that that day so yeah all, a lot of the comments are about balance which is fair enough um inconsistent contact basically all the stuff that i thought or i know we need to work on so overall it's a good test the judges comments were if i can read the writing willing course just needs to develop the throughoutness to a con consistent and even contact to help him stay in balance and suppleness through the whole body to the inside bend as develops and becomes stronger for the future basically he's very willing he just needs to work on his balance and suppleness which is exactly what i knew so we've got another test coming up this month november i've entered the prelim again in the ror league um it actually looks a lot nicer than this test which is good so i'm actually going to go and practice that at the yard today it's so sunny it's lovely i hope you enjoyed this vlog um test for november will be recorded very shortly so i will again upload that and you can have a watch and see if you think we've improved thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and until next time i'll see you soon